Hey everyone, Mike here with a nice and easy speed paint with some D&D scenery this time. This is from WizKids and all of their stuff comes pre-primed in a light grey primer which is going to work great with contrast paints, I think. So this one is simply called Cage and Chains. Now I assume this cage would open and start yanking on it and thankfully it does otherwise painting it would be a nightmare. The first color I'm using here is Mornfang Brown, but I lost the footage of me painting the first color on. That's what I get for trying to make five different videos at once. All I did though was completely coat the cage in a couple layers of thinned down Mornfang Brown with a large old brush. Next I'm using a silver. This one is Plate Mail Metal from Army Painter, and I'm lightly dry brushing this all over the cage just to give a better impression that this cage is made from metal. I normally start with a metal color and then add the rust to it, but this time I wanted a really rusty look, so I started with the main rust color. So you can see here I'm just lightly dry brushing this on in some places, then mashing the brush into the edges where rust might have chipped off. Alright, I'm setting that aside for a minute, and now I'm going to paint the wooden bottom to the cage with snakebite leather. This is actually the first time I've used this color, but I have to say it does a great job painting wood grain. I was dreading painting that huge pile of treasure chests and doors I still have laying around unpainted, but no longer. Next I'm switching to a few different washes. The first is Nuln Oil, and I'm using this all over the cage to create some more weathering and outline the rivets and where the bars meet. The next step is completely optional, especially since pretty much no one is ever going to see this, but it's something I like to do with wood grain. I'm going to add a few streaks of different wood colors onto the floor of the cage using Agrax Earthshade, Reichlin Flesh Shade, and Seraphim Sepia. This works better with a lighter shade of brown for your wood, but it still creates some color variation. The last step for the cage is a little more rust, and I'm using orange rust from Secret Weapon. You can of course just use a bright orange for this. I've watered this down quite a bit, and I'm splashing it around in random places. And the last step for the wooden base is a light dry brush around the edges with an off-white such as Yushabdi Bone. I'm painting the chains with just three colors. The first is Black Templar Contrast Paint, and I'm completely covering the chains with this. Just like with the bars, I want to give the hint that these are made from metal, so I'm dry brushing the top surface of the chain links with a silver. This one is pig iron, but any silver will do fine for this. And finally, I'm using Agrax Earthshade to darken the recesses a bit and to add a bit of grime to the chains. And that's it! Something quick and easy to add a bit of variety to your dungeons. Thanks to all my patrons, as always, and thank you to Brian Jones for sponsoring the channel. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you very much for watching.